Hello everybody, in this part we will continue to make various objects for still life. Namely, I am going to show how to create a capacity. There are actually several options for that. The first way is to use a primitive. For example, I use a capsule. I am simply remove the top part and thus created the desired object. So you can use any primitive, make some changes to it and quickly get the desired object. The next option is to use extrusion. Just set a hotkey on the apply button. To do that you need to create any mesh as a basis and squeeze each subsequent segment from it. I also use another interesting option which is extruding a rolling axis. For this you need to create a segment, then the gizmo is used as an axis and the apply button is used as an extruder. This method can be used if symmetry is not mandatory for you. Oh well, later you can make symmetry for the object, but it will be peculiar.
Okay, now I'm going to show you how to add some content to the capacity. Note that you can use different selection modes. Use whichever mode is convenient for the situation. Also pay attention to the expand and contract functions, which add or subtract the number of selected faces. Also, those functions work for vertices and edges. You can see how it works with the hot case. These functions will help you often in your workflow. I'm selecting the area where the content should be and cloned it. I'm going to make the content thick, so I'll use symmetry. Now you need to flip the faces, for which you need to select all the faces that need to be flipped and use the flip function. You can see that in this way we can create the content exactly in line with the shape of the capacity. Now it remains to apply the form to the upper part. For smoothing, I am using the expand, contract and relax functions. Now to give the content a finished look I'm going to use the brush tool. But if I'm using this tool incorrectly I can damage the capacity and the bottom of the content. So I'm suggest making the top and the bottom temporarily different objects. To do that you need to create a new layer and place one of the parts there.
then make sure that two all groups function is turned off, so the brush tool will only work for the current layer. After the work is done, both layers can be combined into one again. So, now I'm going to make a finished look for each object that we did in this part. This will happen in the time-lapse mode, where the technique we talked about in the video will be applied. So, I welcome you to continue watching to see it in action. When the object got finished, I added them to the poly models panel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.